Hello, and welcome to Kelp to This One. My name is Gregory Moses. I'm your professor for this course. Um, some of you I'll be seeing in my classroom if I haven't already, but there are also some purely online students. So I wanted to take a moment to show those students around the web page. So here we are in Math 151. We're currently in the course home. And I'll just scroll down a little and talk as we go. So here's our brief introduction. Some links under getting started. If you want to know a little more about me, there's this. There's the online learning orientation. This is set up by our teaching and learning center. It's common across all online courses. So there isn't anything about calculus specifically in the online learning orientation, but you can find links to technical support, stuff like that. Scroll down a little further. You should familiarize yourself with the syllabus. We have tutoring available for Calculus this one um, you, for online students as well as on campus students. You can schedule an appointment with the click of a button. And you go down any further and you get to the course content. So this calculus class is an asynchronous online course for the students who are taking it online. And what that means is that online students aren't expected to zoom in and watch me teach or anything like that. The learning material is all online. And I keep this open two weeks at a time. So at the moment, week one and week two are open. And then more material will open as the semester progresses. I don't recommend trying to work far ahead or anything like that, but I know online students aren't always perfectly on the same schedule. You know, you have work and kids and all sorts of other stuff going on. So I figured um, letting you look at two weeks at once would provide a little flexibility. Now, each of these things in boxes is a link. You click one of them say 1.1. This corresponds to section 1.1 of the textbook. And you'll find all sorts of stuff. You'll find a brief introduction to the section. You'll find the reading assignment. You'll find videos. You'll find written notes. So I tried to offer plenty of learning resources for you to use, whether you like videos or reading or both, or if you like one more than the other. I've tried to serve everybody by the way this course is set up. And there are additional videos from the Creative Commons. I created these videos. You can see my smiling face. But if you want even more resources, we have them at the bottom of these of um, the page. And then at the very bottom, you'll find some links. So week one, there's a self-introduction assignment in the forums. There's a quiz for section 1.1. 1 
And there's a link to the forums. The forums are optional. There aren't any like forum assignments. But if you're doing a quiz and you run into a question, I'd like you to use the forums to ask that question. And that's just because if you're having questions, so are other students. And maybe some of them aren't asking, even though they should be. So using the forums means that everybody who's struggling on a problem gets help with the problem. And Quizzes has its own little video, a little further down the page. Other than that, I hope everything is pretty self-explanatory once you've read the syllabus. Um, if you scroll back up, due dates are on the calendar. Um, Tests and quizzes, there's information on tests and quizzes in the syllabus. And again, then there's a video on the tests and quizzes feature. Discussions, that's a link to the forums. Your grade book, you can... Now, if this wants to load, you can see your grades here. Messages, um, I prefer if you use the messages feature to get in contact with me rather than email. It's not a huge deal. It's just that it keeps, um, well, it keeps everything related to Calculus One contained in the Calculus One course, as opposed to, you know, being partly in the web page and partly in my inbox. So if you need to get in touch with me, you just press Compose Messages. You presumably are mainly emailing me, although you could email other students if you wanted to, if you have friends in the course or something. You subject line, type the, um, whatever your subject line is, type in, whatever your message is, do please sign your messages, and then send it. And it will show up right in my received folder. I think that's all I have to say at the moment. If you have, if you read the syllabus and you look around the course and you still have questions about the way this is structured, please don't hesitate to send me a message. If you're ever struggling with the content of the course, please don't hesitate to get in touch. Again, either using the discussion forums if you have a specific quiz problem, or you can use the messages feature if you have more general questions. And you should be good to dive right in, read the syllabus, and start section 1.1. I'm delighted to have all of you in this course with me, and I hope you all have an enjoyable and productive semester.